Hallo. Hallo, Amazon, is het Amazon? Hallo. Hi, good morning, sir. The line has been connected to Amazon customer service. My name is Eric Jones. How may I help you? Well, this is Kissel. Uh, somebody charged a $1,500 Apple MacBook. I don't know how. All right. Okay. Well, in that case, let me go and run a full security check in my system, okay. and I will let you know what is going on. Okay. So, this for customer is security, please okay. verify me your first and the last name. Frank Kissel. F R A N K. Right. K I S S E L L. Kissel. All right. Can I put your call on hold for a yeah. moment? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ahead and have go ahead. Good. My system. Yes. All right. Please turn the light. Okay. Thank you for holding the line, sir. Yes. Okay. Well, I can see here in my system that there is pre authorized order with your registered number and your name for an Apple MacBook Pro and an Apple Airport with an amount of $1,599. So, are you the one who placed this order? I don't even know. I don't even do Amazon. So, how did they get the money? I Where did they get the money from? All I got was they took $1,500 from somewhere. Uh, well, sir, I believe that this might be a fraudulent order. Maybe somebody is misusing your identity. I think it was written. As I, I can see here. I don't know. Okay. What we got to do? Just cancel it, I guess. Uh, sir, I can see here that there is multiple Amazon account under your name. I don't have Are any you Amazon with multiple accounts. Amazon? I don't have an Amazon. All right. Okay. That is the reason somebody is misusing your identity. Who's using it? As I can this Amazon account has been opened last week on Friday to bless this Apple computer. So, is there any chance that any one of your family members to bless this order? Do you have any idea about it? Not unless it was Rizzo, but he didn't do it. He's a super across the street. He wouldn't do it. This is kissing. All right. Well, okay. I understand that uh, this might be a fraudulent order. Might, okay. Have you of wow. your personal information, trading shelves, your documents in the past. With who? No. All right. Well, I understand that you are not aware about this order. No, I'm not so aware. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay, cancel it. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this order for you. But before okay, I go ahead, thank you. can you please verify your current zip code? 13118. And sir, the number which I am presently having a word with you, is this your cell phone number or home phone number? It's my cell. All right. Okay. Can I put your call on hold for a moment? Okay. Like go ahead and cancel your order? Yeah, go ahead and cancel. I'll All wait. right. Please okay, good. Okay. Thank you for holding line, sir. Sure. Uh, well, sir, now I came to know that this is a clear case of identity theft. Somebody is misusing your identity. I huh. tried to cancel your order, but okay. my system is showing me error. I cancel your order at my end. How come? We believe that who is misusing your identity. They have created multiple bank accounts under your name. Uh -oh. That has been linked with our Amazon account. What? Are you dealing with multiple bank accounts? No, I only have one bank. I deal with Bank of America. Sir, I can see here that there is multiple bank accounts under your name. That is First National Bank, Chess Bank. Bank of America, Community Bank, MNT Bank. No. So are you dealing with all of these accounts that I mentioned? I, no, I have Bank of America, and I used to use Titty Bank, but I got away from them because they overcharged me on a, on a fee. So I got rid of them, and I got Bank of America. All right. Well, sir, since this is a fraudulent order, okay. banks are the only authorized for cancel your order. Okay, so cancel it. Do you want me to transfer? Do you want me to transfer your call directly to the fraud department of your bank so that they can definitely cancel your order? Yeah, do that. Yeah, then they can can't. Well, I can go. I can just go down to the bank, I guess, and tell them. Uh, sir, you don't have they to be worried because there. as we work, I'm not connecting your call to your local bank because no. this is a fraudulent oh, order. Okay. I'm going to connect your call to the headquarters Headquart of your oh, bank, fraudulent okay. department. Who? Because they are the only authorized person to cancel your order. Okay. So I'm going to transfer your call. You I'll, don't have to be worried. Okay. I'll, I'll tell them with this all is Kissel. Okay. So please go ahead and explain to them that somebody is ordering the item without your knowledge. I will. 
and there is a truck. $1,599. So tell them to cancel this order. $1,599. And they'll cancel it? Okay. $1,500. I tried to cancel your order, but since this is a fraudulent order, yeah, you my system is showing me here. I cancel your order at my end. Okay. Well, give so me the there is another uh, option to cancel uh, this transaction. Okay. Put me through then to the so bank. I'm going to help you. Yes, sir. So I'm going to connect your call right now. So please don't hang up the call okay. and stay connected. Thank All right. You. Okay. Uh, sir, last, last question. Uh, is there anyone who is taking care of your banking information? I don't know what that means. I take care of it. What do you mean? Apart from you, is there, apart from you, is there anyone who is taking care of your banking information and all? No. Why would anybody else take care of it? I don't understand. All right. So I'm going to transfer your call right now. So please okay. go ahead and explain to them. All right. I will. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're please welcome. Please stay Okay. This call will be recorded for quality and security purposes by the bank server. Your call is important to us. Please stay on the line. Thank you for calling Bank of America. Right now you are speaking with James Martin. Can I have your name, please? Kissel. Frank Kissel. Let me know why your call has been transferred to us and how can I help you today? Well, I, apparently Amazon canceled, uh, transferred me to you because they couldn't find me in the server and somebody used my identification to open up Amazon accounts and charge $1,599 worth of Apple stuff. So then they connected me to you. And how often? Uh, what? How many times you have received that call from Amazon regarding an order? Just once, because I don't even have Amazon. That's why I don't know how they get the money out of my account. So he connected me to you, the bank. I told him I could go down to the bank, okay. but he said I had to talk to headquarters. All right. In that case, okay. let me go ahead and pull up your account information, and I will let you know if there are any charges coming up under your name or not. Okay, Mr. Frank? Okay. So in this uh, Bank of America, are you the primary holder, or is it a joint account with no, someone else? No, it's just me. Kissel. When was the last time you visited your bank physically? Physically? Last week I went down there uh -huh. to the bank and I talked to uh, Andrea there at the counter. She was very nice and uh, because I had a check that mm -hmm. kind of bounced. But she was nice about it and fixed mm -hmm. it because it really shouldn't have bounced. I had the uh -huh. money in there, but I don't know how they screwed it up. And uh, what kind of account you are holding with us as well? Checking, savings, regular checking account? Yes, regular checking and savings account with Bank of America. Do you own a debit card? No, I don't have a debit card because I got a gambling problem and I use it all up when I go to the casino, so I don't have one. Okay. Yes. So can you take an exit? Let me pull up your account information okay. and I will be yeah. right back to you. Okay, okay I'll be here. Thank you. Thank you for your time and patience. Are we still connected, Mr. Frank? Yes. Okay, well, I have pulled up your account information. Okay. And also here I have received an email from Amazon. From and old? I can see over the email that they are charging $1,599 yes. from your account. That's what and they said. You, are, you have to purchase anything from Amazon from your end, right? Right, so cancel that, and then I'll be all set. So let me know here in this Bank of America, are you sure apart from you nobody has access of your bank information, Mr. Frank? Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. So at this point of time, as they are charging $1,599 from your account, can you think of anyone who might try to misuse your information to make this particular order from Amazon without direct knowledge? Maybe Aqualung, but he, he would, how would he do it? He, I don't even know how he would do it. I know. I don't know anybody. So right now here, yes, they are charging $1,599 from your account. I will immediately go ahead and run a full security check into your balance to make sure that none of your money gets charged from your bank account. Right, that's what I you want. Have not purchased that's anything. what I want. Okay. Okay. So approximately right now, how much you think you should have into your account right now, into your regular checking and savings account? Five, 50, Approximate balance? I don't know, like 5200 in each one, probably. I don't know, yeah. What about your savings? Savings, probably 6200 maybe. I don't know. I don't use it that much. Don't you know? You got my okay, account so right now there. Here, my account, don't you have my account right there? What's it say? 
See, Mr. Frank, right now your call just got transferred to us from Amazon. So we have to make sure that we are speaking with the right person, oh, yeah, this with the is right Kessel. holder, before disclosing it. This is Kessel, yes. Okay, for the account verification, verify me your social security number, Mr. Kessel. My social? It's 0861010463. You should have all this information. I told you, Mr. Frank, your line just got transferred to us, so we have to make sure from your end, okay? Okay. That you are speaking with the right person. Yeah, I'm the right person. Let me know this when your Kessel. social security number got issued. The what? I didn't hear you. Your social security number issue in which state? New York State. Can you re-verify me your social once again? Didn't you write it down? Duff. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Thank you. Okay, so now here, what we are going to do is that we will go ahead and make sure that none of your money get charged from your bank okay, account. Good, the meantime, okay, good. Thanks. Okay. I will see what exactly is going on here into your account right now. Okay. You're gonna what? I didn't hear you. You're breaking up a little. I will go ahead and pull up your account information, and I will give you all the information. What exactly is going on here into your account right okay. now? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Stay connected. Okay. Thank you for your time and patience. Are we still connected, Mr. Frank? Yes, Mr. Fra Frank's my first name. My last name is Kissel. Kissel. This is Kissel. Uh huh. Okay. So, Mr. Kissel, here right now, here I have your account information. Okay. And also here I can see that using all your information, some person has created multiple accounts under your name. So I have to make sure from your end that apart from this Bank of America, are you dealing with any other bank? Do no. you own? Any other account under your name? No, like I told the fellow from Amazon, I used to deal with Titty Bank, but I had some problems uh -huh. there where they were charging me, overcharging me on the, uh, what do you call that when you overcharge a check? They charged me too much money, so then I switched to Bank of America, you guys. Okay. Okay. So right now, it seems like, Mr. Officer, that somebody might got your personal information. They As might. we can see, using all your information, okay. some person has created multiple accounts. So do you recall losing out any of your personal information, like your state ID, driving license, your debit card, or your credit card, any of your personal documentation? Not in a long, oh, gee, 10 years ago I lost it, but they wouldn't have it still. 10 years ago I lost it. And when I was working, I was that I was in Texas back okay. then. I was working at the Armadillo Farm. Okay. Yes. So now here, right now, as I told you, as as I've created multiple bank accounts. Okay. Which is like Chase Bank, no. Wells Fargo, PNC, no. Capital One, and Regional. So uh -huh. did you have any connection with this old no, bank? No connections oh, you know? with no, no connections with them. Moreover, when I have your information, it seems like your account seems to be compromised from multiple locations, as well as from a location which is like Ohio, New Jersey, Texas, and New York. So have you ever been to those places before? Yeah, I used to work in Texas at the Armadillo Farm, but that was years ago. Years ago I worked at, we used to, after in the spring, we used to have to plant the armadillos, and then okay. in the fall, we'd have to dig them up and sell them. But that was years ago. Okay. All right. Well, so now here, uh, before I give you all the information again, uh, I want you to verify me your date of birth, Mr. Frank Kessel. My, my date of birth? Uh-huh. Oh, 3 16 3-16? Yes. 15-50. Right. Okay. Just give me some few moments. I will be right back to you, okay? Oh, okay. I think what happened with it here is the social security number I gave is fake, of course. And there's a site you can go to where it'll tell you if the social security number has been issued or not. It won't tell you who it is or anything. Like it'll just tell you if it's been issued. Well, obviously, I use a fake one, so he must have went there and figured out that it was a fake social number. Oh, well. Uh, Amazon customer service, how can I help you? This is Kissel. I was talking to, uh, they transferred me to uh, Bank of America, and I got disconnected. Somebody okay. charged $1,599 
for Apple stuff on Amazon, and the other fellow, I forgot his name, transferred me to uh, uh, Bank of America. Oh, I'm, it, man. I'm what? All right, can you help me with the first and the last name, sir? Frank Kissel. Frank? Kissel. K-I-S-S-E-L-L. -S -S -E -L -L. Frank Kissel. This is Kissel. All right. Okay. Uh, well, well, can you help me with a zip code? 13118. Okay, one three one one eight. Right. All right. Let me pull up the details right okay, away. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Maybe you can get the guy back from Bank of America. What the fuck? Hello. Thank you for calling the customer service. This is Victoria Della. How can I help you? This is Kissel. Somebody charged fifteen hundred dollars at Amazon for uh, mm -hmm. iBook or something. I don't know what. So is this the first time you receive a call from um, Amazon or you have been receiving this call for several times? I, several times. And I keep on getting disconnected. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll go ahead and cancel the order for you, okay? Okay, Randy. Thank you. Do I look like a Randy? Do you do that? Yes, you sound like one. <laughs> Your line has been connected to Amazon customer service. How can I help you today? Well, I was talking to some Rundy bitch, and she hung up on me. Okay. Yes. And what did she told you? She told me, I, she didn't tell me nothing. She hung up on me. I said, this is Kissel. And she said she canceled it. I said, okay, Rundy. And she got mad and hung up. I, that's not right, Ben Chode. And did you told them about any kinds of order? Did they yes. tell you any kinds yes. of order? Yes, it was 15. What kind of order was fif that? 15, let me look at my thing here. It says uh, 1500 sure. for an Apple MacBook. MacBook. Okay. This is Kissel. Okay. 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 So what do you want to do? This oh, well, I want to cancel order, it sir. since I didn't what? order it. I don't even sure, have sure. Amazon. Where did sure. I get the money from? I understand. Okay. I understand you that. Understand. So I am canceling this order and okay. I am blocking all of this fake ID. Registered under this number, okay? Okay, Ben Colodi. Sure, you sure, sure. Thank you, even Have bastard. <laughs> you fuck. Still there, stupid? Oh, yes, you are. I can know you're still there, stupid. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hello, thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Victoria Teller. How can I help you? This is Kissel again. I keep on getting disconnected. I'm trying to get this thing taken care of. Sir, don't worry. I will cancel the order for you. It might take a week. It might take a, it might take days. Is this it the might same, take for a month. Is this the same don't Rundy worry. I was talking to before? Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Brain. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Who? Yeah. I'll do one. Oh, I want to talk to that Rundy I was talking to before. Hey, you asshole, why do you keep on calling me? Because you you're stupid other... enough to keep on answering, you dumb fuck. <laughs> go, go and earn something and feed your family, okay? Don don't, you don't well, have to... Okay, you stop. You you, I'll, you do you, I'll do that when you... I'll do that for you fuckers. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hello? Hello? Hi, a very good morning. Your line's been connected to Amazon Customer Service. This is Paula. How can I help you? Take the dick out of your mouth. I can't hear you. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hi, a very good morning. Your line has been connected to Amazon. This is Diana Culture. How can I help you? Yes, I got a uh, invoice for fifteen hundred dollars. Yes. yes. Hi, a very good afternoon. Your line has been connected to Amazon. Do you have a bank account, sir? Tyler, how can I help you? Um, what? Two people are talking. I don't know what's going on here. I said, do you have a bank account? Yeah. Well, yeah, I got a bank account. Okay. Okay. So you're telling me the charge is coming into your debit card or your bank account? Well, they're both connected, so it doesn't make any difference, does it, Rundy? Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs>
that's all, folks.